check one, two, uno, dos, uno, dos. Yes, man, it's Rabbit again. We're back my, along with my brother, producer, the Rabbit Season podcast. And I just want to start off by saying we ain't done yet. Oh, oh, what a rush. Uh, we took a little hiatus from the from the show. Um, you know, as everybody uh, is, yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on, not only in the in the world and in our country and, you know, just stuff at home. And, you know, um, I just figured at the time, let me take a little break. We're going to fine tune a couple things and we'll come back to this podcast. But um, I do want to say, uh, shake and agree with like our, <clears throat> whatever you want to call it, a little break or whatever it might be. is not like most people's breaks. Like we still, uh, for those that don't know, are mad consistent uh, for almost going on 12 years strong with the B-side show. So, um, act like, you know, yeah, act like, <laughs> you know, on that one, man. And, uh, but yeah, almost 12 years strong, uh, platform for, for independent artists, musicians, um, uh, you know, uh, actors, we've had producers, we've had, uh, athletes, um, and, you know, some pretty good, some pretty known people as well. And then some, some people that um, are up and coming that w we can also see the potential and what they're doing. So just just a quick backstory on on you know what we do at the B side, but um, <clears throat> we haven't missed a beat on that um, in all these years, almost twelve. Like I said, um, we've taken a a few holidays off that fall on Monday, and other than that, I think we took two days off total in all these years. Because due to technical difficulties usually we figure out a way to get through it because it is a challenge every week for anybody that puts on a show including a lockdown and a oh yeah lockdown we still did a show from a garage not <laughs> not not to mention you know a, a lockdown throughout the the world and uh <laughs> and we still yeah like you mentioned we did some zoom figured out how to do it through zoom on you know uh, even from the garage at the house but um mad consistent and it's because we believe in you know the talent and the the platform and um something you know i i kind of talked about it on this past monday show shay that you know whatever uh this will be actually we're we're pre-recorded on on rabbit season so it'll be a couple weeks prior but i like to reiterate the fact that uh thank you to all the 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 guests and the artists and that 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 realize um that we're consistent through all these years for a reason because we care about it and um that utilize our platform to promote their material and we appreciate yeah, that for sure and the people that reach out you know just for you know to invite us to their events and you know just wanted us to be part of it like we appreciate it because you know it, it helps us you know realize there's a um you know something that, that we're you know like people that we're actually reaching out to people you know we're not just you know just doing this you know to look cool or whatever it's like you know we're really trying to to make something you know and to help people and and you know just hey was that a shots fired or no uh, <laughs> the, uh <laughs> <laughs> we're not doing it <laughs> now you know what uh, and then here just to to talk about it a little bit i mean there's yeah people have their choice there's so many uh podcasts and shows and different things nowadays and um, I think it shows through our, our work ethic throughout the years and on, uh, and also the relationship we built with a lot of the guests um, that um, w w we're not just doing it to be popular and to, like everybody look at me type of thing. And, that, you know, I, I'm just joking about that. But, there, you know, everybody has their own reasons for doing it. But there is a lot of cool stuff out there right now. A lot of people hitting different angles of different topics and stuff. So. Um, what, one thing I did want to say, like going forward, like um, the direction kind of that, you know, that we'll take uh, as far as this podcast is, you know, we're, it's not going to be um, guest based um, as much as the B-side show is. Um, you know, sometimes I'll just have, you know, somebody that that knows something about a certain topic come in Um Sometimes it'll just be me and my brother just bullshitting, but you know stuff that up to date current topics uh, a little bit, but just more. It's more about the conversation, I guess, on the show, 
and uh yeah like the, one of the, our the uh, way we present it one of the the best episodes you know that we've had though is actually just based on uh, the one we did with the homie roman based on mental health you know it wasn't anybody that's out there trying to be like you know an artist or anything like that but um you know he has like a cause that he's down with because of the work that he does mm-hmm. and so it was and a he good be conversation, and he's you know? passionate about that yeah. which happens to be his job too which is always a good thing so and you know that's to say we're we're passionate about what we do but yeah going forward uh it'll be uh based on that kind of stuff uh you know whatever random stuff we want to talk about you know I, I was thinking shay like oh and here's another thing um too um We'll, we'll be shouting out the team throughout. This is just a quick episode to get back into it and, uh, you know, let the people know we're back. But um, th- this, uh, uh, I talked to Vcast today randomly. Shout out to the homie, man, what Joseph. Joseph. Yeah. Congratulations, bro. Yeah, yeah. He's doing, he's doing a lot of things, continuing, continuing his education. Um, but he was part of our, our the B-side show, doing random footage and stuff in the back. Started off as a a vendor in front of our shop and uh we built a relationship a working relationship and now um he's going to actually be helping out with some of the promo material and stuff like that for this show so i i didn't get to tell my brother yet so might as well tell him while we're recording live and huh? speaking of that too shout out to the homie manlo luigi locos in the house he's uh <laughs> here helping us out in the background dun, dun, dun. But he's one of the ones that have been down with us for, you know, for for throughout when the pandemic ended all through this time to keep us going with media and stuff like that. And then yeah. shout out also to, um, you know, we had a few other people come through to help us out, like Mach 5 Media, like welcome to the team, bro. Um, you know, and uh, especially like like has always the been the back side of the, of the backbone of the of the B-side show. The Is backside? The backside. Of the, that's not me. <laughs> Yeah, oh, like I'm in the back. Technically, you are because you're in that little booth during the B-side show. But so. the backbone of the B-side is what I meant. Um, the DJs, man. So shout out to you know all the DJs that have been down with us over the years, and then we got like you know what three or four new ones I- in the last year or so too. So th- that's always you know. And, and 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 what's cool about you know uh, one of the things about being mad consistent is that um, I- is that we have to continually work through you know sometimes here or there. Um, somebody might not be able to come and help out anymore and come weekly or whatever. Um, but luckily there's always, um, kind of an audience for, uh, people that are doing work now and do want to come and be part of something consistent and man, shout out to everybody that's, that's been part of the squad too, man. That's, yeah, we've had a lot of cool people, you know, uh, bless these door, these, hallways or whatever you want to call these floors these hallowed halls these yeah hallowed. Our, our platform <laughs> but um but yeah so oh uh some of the new djs like kill a noise um, oh yeah he's dope too yeah yeah and he's from right around the way too and that's cool so and then fm's down with the team now dj fm you know legendary oh, man. DJ. so that's yeah what, you know. brother and and you know what he's been wearing his mask this was before the pandemic mm-hmm. so you guys you guys know about fm man oh, yeah. And uh, yeah, man, it's cool. We got we 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 keep the thing moving, but everybody that that works with us is kind of like becomes like family, and it's yeah, cool, man. Real. It's so. And speaking of that, real quick too, can I want to say um like thank you like for reals for all the love that I, um on my birthday, which was last week, but like people, <laughs> like, happy birthday, and I appreciate that a lot. A lot of you know a lot of family, a lot of friends, of course, but a lot of people that I met through this, through doing this, and. You know that was dope and like like sassy thank you the homegirl she brought through gifts we had cakes the homie homegirl sonia drive by cakes we had sonia Big Herc, the terrible come through with some most high the edibles uh man it, it, it was dope so thank you to everybody for sure and Gemini this is, season. you know what and this just happened to be i don't want to say just a random monday because we were celebrating the ho- uh my brother's birthday the homie mm-hmm. my brother's birthday and uh and also, uh, Foxy La Chingona came through. It was her, it was birthday, her birthday that too, yeah. night. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, but on our any random Monday, uh, sometimes we get people just yeah. special guests just stop through just oh, to kick oh, it with us. Oh, and thanks us, to no? Fally for the Funko Pop, and thank you to Stopes from Funko Chols. I got went home with two new Funkos that night. <laughs> thank you, guys. Hey, nerd alert! <laughs> nah, just kidding. Hey, but uh, and then uh, um. But what what I was saying is any random Monday, you know, people pop through. But 
it was a special occasion. It was birthdays we were celebrating, and on that note, uh, you know, it was Crazy Race, uh, Crazy yeah. Race's birthday. My um, brother Jack. Yeah, Drac. Happy birthday, bro. Uh, my daughter. Yep, happy birthday. Uh, my niece, turned five. Pretty cool, because, I mean, she's been acting like she's older already. <laughs> it's a milestone. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. She's uh, about to start kindergarten coming up. and uh, She watches the B-Side show. Yeah, every Monday. she actually watches until <laughs> t- until she falls asleep, yeah, yeah. Uh, especially when, when it's a school night. But, um, but yeah, uh, who else uh, is Patty birthday? Clover just passed. Patty pa- Clover. Uh, birthday, Polka. Polka One, one of our new co-hosts here, yep, too, as yep. well. Um, she, um, and then, hey, man, happy birthday to Ice Cube, Tupac, some of the great. We got Ice hey, Cube. Hey, we got them right there. there. I forgot the Tupac one. Mm-hmm. Uh, we'll, we'll be putting that up, too. And, uh, you know, uh, but anyways, this was kind of just to let people know we're back. Um, we are going to keep going. Hey, I was thinking, uh, what if we added... Uh, like I want to a- add random segments, like um, the adventures of Sick Vic. Oh yeah, Sick Vic. <laughs> I think we talked about him on the first one we did, and and people were asking, "Hey, I gotta meet this guy." Yeah, who's and I was Sick like, Vic? Oh yeah, you do gotta I meet go, this guy. Yeah. <laughs> I go, I'm. N- I-, I told him, I'm not sure you want to meet this yeah. guy. <laughs> now nah, it's one of the homies from way back, but I always told him, dude, you literally got like the best stories ever. Uh, and this dude, he could be randomly just going to the store or something, and something. Like crazy, what like <laughs> happened on his way, and like something other people that uh, like trippy stuff. Like I, I always wanted to ask him. Like one of the ones I wanted to ask him how he met that Heine Marty Feldman. Uh, <laughs> for those that don't, Marty Feldman. For those that don't yeah. know, uh, you have look to look up the name. You have to <laughs> Google it mm. or check it. What was it? Young Frankenstein or what was it? <laughs> It was not Frankenstein. It was Frankenstein. You got to check that movie. Well, these yeah. are old school movies, but it was <laughs> <laughs> an old actor with a <laughs> my bad, but you get the picture. It was a it was a chick that the um she had like a a, a wandering eye, <laughs> or I don't know if it was a wandering eye or like it was just bigger than the other one. I don't rem- I don't know what it was though, about her. I'm trying to think right now. They just didn't see eye to eye. Well. Plus, uh, if, and if you've seen the homie, oh man, it was. But it, it, I want to ask him some of his stories. We could just ask randomly. Uh, just have a, a segment called uh, "The Adventures of Sick Vic." Oh, yeah. But <laughs> hey, anyways, and another thing during all this time, like, uh, uh, how how's it been? The new spot, my brother. Uh, my brothers, he, oh, he's, yeah. we're no longer roommates. Yeah, except when we're here all the time. Our second no, home. That's a the trip B too, because I, I was like, I was gonna say, yeah, we, we need to do segments. I'm gonna ask you, like, what are you watching these days, or what's yeah, that? because this is the first time we actually haven't lived in the same spot since we were kids. So you know, so but, yeah, hey, what are you watching nowadays? I know it's the Angels, you know, and hey, I know people are gonna hate on us for that. Angels, Lakers, and and Raiders. And uh, but what else though? Like, uh, what what have you been catching up on when you get a chance to to watch it? Anything? Uh, well, I actually had to catch up to. I like. I I, I was watching the Mayans, you know, oh, the yeah. first season, and they even had their hiatus. And they're on the second season now. Yeah, uh, but but when it first started, because we've been so busy with different stuff, and that and that's the thing too, like home repairs. Like, it, everybody knows out there, and I know people can relate. Um, but um, you know, if it's not a car breaking down, it's a, it's you know the the plumbing something, you know, something clogging yeah, or, yeah. or a leak or a fucking I don't know what. But it's been nonstop, and again, all fed into the hiatus for the show. But but so it's crazy as you think you think uh as you get older, all right, I figured everything out. There shouldn't be any more issues, smooth sailing. But it's actually the opposite. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, I've heard recently. Uh, People tell it, you know, like the graduates and stuff. Congratulations, by the way, oh, to all the graduates. <laughs> but, you know, yeah, to break it to you plain and simple, it's like, yeah, uh, welcome to the, I mean, okay, congratulations, you passed the easiest mm-hmm. part. And this is the funnest, <laughs> probably, this is going to be the funnest summary of your whole life, probably. So, but once that's over, hey, get yeah. ready. Yeah, it's, <laughs> yeah, real life. Time to get a job, go to college, man, and and even when you're having fun, something's always gonna, you know, maybe try to take that off track, but just keep it moving. Shout out positive vibes and everything to all the graduates. But back to what you were saying. So because of all these things going on, um, so I had to go back and uh, and catch up to them. I I think I was like, uh, first two or three episodes 
I missed. But then I just I didn't let nobody tell me anything, and I just went. I tried not to look at anybody posting anything, mm-hmm. and then I just went back, watched those three, and now I'm caught up pretty much. I know that was the one thing um, about the pandemic. It was a good excuse to damn like I'm gonna watch a bunch of stuff that I've been wanting to watch. People are always telling me about this, this, but it's just it's hard to find time to you know. Especially nowadays, the streaming thing is kind of getting like way crazy now. But so, but with me, of course, I'm gonna stay up on the Star Wars shit. So I'm on the Obi Wan Kenobi right now. But other than that, it's just sports, and then I'm here. You're all up on Obi Wan Kenobi. (laughs) Yeah, (laughs) I'm in there. (laughs) (laughs) You you just trying to become a Jedi by all means necessary. Well, if you've seen the show, you'll see the the, uh, Darth Vader's trying to get up in them too. So. Uh, uh, it sounds kind of gross, but I mean, I didn't mean it like that. But, but you know, anybody, it's a, show, it's a good show if you're in anybody. Star Wars, yeah, that is. They, they, yeah, they're they're <laughs> like, oh, I know what he's talking about. <laughs> I haven't got to catch up on any of those. I usually, uh, obviously, I've seen all the main movies, but I haven't got to. I heard some of these series are some of the dope. It's like the uh, Boba Fett and all that stuff. Too. Yeah, it's crazy that like TV shows have like such a high budget now, like so they could do these big special effects and all that. Cause, yeah, you know, it's, it's always. It, it's it's sometimes though I find because, and and I know, um, it is a good thing because uh, what do they say? Uh, idle idle time is the devil's playground. playground something that, like that, or uh, I don't know what what's the exact. <laughs> probably quote. butchered it, but uh, <laughs> I, I'm sure I did. I'm paraphrasing here. No, but uh, you you know what I mean. It, it's like um, luckily, uh, I I say luckily because yes, I'm I I don't mind. I'm blessed to get up, go to work, you know, uh, be able to pay the bills, be able to do what I, I love here and still have my hip hop dojo here along with the partners. But um, a spot where we can not only create and put on different platforms, but uh, showcase talent and all that stuff. But with that being said, that's why there's so many shows out there now. Like I find I don't have time to watch a lot. So usually it's off a of a high recommendation from somebody. Usually, like, hey, uh, you gotta watch this show or or check out this dude. You'll trip or or it's about this or a, a subject that I've been wanting to know more about. Oh, yeah. Something like that. Yeah. You know what I mean? But but it's crazy crazy because I mean, there's you know people can say like, oh, like stop you know warping your brain with TV and stuff like that. But to me, I don't know. I feel like there's things you can learn from it and. You know, like just like you said, like if there's something about a subject you didn't know nothing about, you could learn from it. It doesn't mean like the source is like correct. Well, now it, when you say you watching know, and, TV, uh, you know. it doesn't necessarily mean the TV that people like. Okay, one of the things like I've done, a, I made a conscious effort is to not watch the news as much. That's yeah, for especially damn the sure. mainstream news oh, channels yeah. and all that. But when you say watch TV, you just mean like just even whether watching a movie or a new series yeah, and yeah. I and mean, that's part of the reason. Like me, to me, watching TV and movies is, is what like got me into like wanting to do this stuff like this behind the yeah, scenes. You know, I yeah. want to like make these things. You know, like type of thing. So it's like yeah. you know, a lot of people that's what they found their passion through. You know, so and I and I found that out about myself like. Not only doing this show, and it's, uh, you know, well, the B-Side show is a live show. This one, um, our, our podcast is pre-recorded. You know, we, we do a little couple things to it, but B-Side's always been live. And, um, you know, where I found, like, I do have a passion for being, like, part of, I guess it's the production of something. Yeah. You And that's from, like, hosting. I've also... Uh, uh, been a part of like booking artists and different things that being involved in live shows you know um for mainly years. <laughs> mainly yeah for years but mainly yeah pre-pandemic but I'm, I'm gonna be getting my hands back into it and doing some more stuff uh coming up i've done a couple things here and there uh but um that's where i knew i had the passion for like to put on a production is just being part of something like that, like a, a live show where all these people go out, spend, you know, take their time, uh, sp- spend their money on the tickets, the merch, whatever it might be. But to get away for a night or two and have a have a good time and forget about all the bullshit, like some of the stuff we were talking about earlier. But um, if I could be part of someone having a good time and being able to host and all that, it's 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 always good for me. So um that's uh that's that's one of the things that i know that i that i that i'm meant for this stuff so 
we got more stuff to do though shay we, we ain't done yet like we're saying with yeah. uh uh we use it as kind of a hashtag right now but uh we got some more stuff coming up and that's part of the like the content we wanted to bring on here too is like <clears throat> we talk a lot about like you know some of our favorite like types of movie or whatever or genres of movie or old school stuff with the guests that we have on and that's that's pretty fun sometimes <clears throat> just to see like what you know other people like kind of inspired them or whatever it is you know yeah and um and then some of them uh you know they happen like they might be a wrestling fan like shay whitey yeah, here yeah that, and that's that's another one like, we're gonna bring that soon like with my homie eclipse and then i got some other peeps that are you know yeah yeah we we won't let too much out of the bag yet but there's something coming for um the people that are into wrestling we got the, uh something in the works it's it's been all, all these things like again and it's like well going back to shay like well, you already know because we're there, but just to explain to whoever is listening. And uh, by the way, anybody that, um, you know, knows about our show, please, you know, let some people know and tell them, you know, it's just cool conversation, just doing it our own way. We got our own weird humor and we got some cool people to talk to and stuff. So, um, but um, yeah, I, I just want to get back to uh, putting stuff out there. Like, so we've been create, we've been creating and, um, we've had stuff in the vault for a cool minute. Um, not only shows, but, um, you know, merchandise type stuff too. And um, so some of that stuff's coming and hopefully you guys, you know, stay tuned and check it out. But yeah, that wrestling and then, uh, you know, I don't want, again, I don't want to let too much out again, but we are trying to get our Twitch numbers up. We're going to try to get better at our Twitch and our twitch handle we are on all platforms but um for this one of the shows we're we're bringing back it's kind of a spin-off of something we've already uh done as part of the b-side show but um we'll be bringing that back as well and that'll probably be a monthly um to start off it's probably going to be a monthly show and then we'll f depending on the uh rec the receptance of it, is that the right word uh, uh, uh. people's uh how they re how they respond to it or whatever will yeah. be i think i said the right word but um, receptacle <laughs> <laughs> no <laughs> no <laughs> the reception yeah that's, i think that's what it means uh but yeah how they receive it um d determines if we do that more often than once a month but um it's gonna be a cool show and we got already some stuff lined up for that as well and yeah, all and this stuff's been in the works even that the other like stuff like something we're not on yet is tiktok but if you are on there just you know like if you're watching our show or anything like that or if you're here even just throw it up on there on your tiktok and just let people know us about us and twitter too it's like one of the oldest platforms but we just we just never really been like there's people that are just hardcore and you know and it's only so many of us like that we can't we can't really be on social I media i all feel day, like so. i feel like and that's one of the elements like someone on our team might bring is maybe we, we ha like some of our little clips from our show and different things could be on TikTok. But I'm at the point now, like next year, I'm going to I mean, next year, next month, I'm going to be a year older, so another lap around the sun or whatever they call it. But uh, probably I, I was pretty safe bet to say I won't be probably doing dances on tiktok and stuff like that uh, well, well, i'm pretty <laughs> sure i mean I'm, i do that stuff here anyways i just don't, i don't need a you know another media platform to try to well and sell here's, myself. here's the thing too like um uh, like people like us get on tiktok and then that's when all the youngsters leave tiktok is going oh man what are these old people doing on here now <laughs> it's just like it's just like when when facebook back in the day was popular all of a sudden when, when we were on there when it first came out then all our aunts and our, and our moms and everything and our grandmas and grandma, yeah, everybody just get so now it's like, oh, okay, we need to go somewhere because there, there's certain things maybe I don't want them to, you know, see. And, uh, and, you know, I hate to say I'm getting old, but that's, I feel like that's what it would be with us if we tried to get on TikTok. I don't know. Well, you <laughs> know what? A lot of people are they're gung ho for it. Yeah. They're, they're <laughs> like, I'm I'm determined I'm going to be a TikTok star. Uh, I, you know, I don't want to go to work every day. <laughs> kidding, kidding, kidding. But, um, you know, people like um, they take it. They take it, you know, it's out there. But but I also say that there are certain things like um, that it, that is, is real cool about it. Like, for for example, like one of the homies, man, and we're, 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 we'll have him on one of the episodes of the rabbit season coming up. Uh, maybe 
the next one of the next couple, but um, the homie Hazard, um, yeah, the homie's yeah. been grinding for a long time, dog, yeah. and and um, it, it's crazy, and he's he, his numbers like it, it kind of went like viral on TikTok somehow. Yeah. Somebody convinced him to do it, and then but he's been doing like his his uh, forty ounce Fridays and all that stuff. Yeah. But like, dog, we we go way back. Like we've done shows with with Hazard, like. Going, he's, this is he's going, been this dope. is going way back, yeah, but years and years ago. Yeah. But it does trip me out, and I'll and People I'll speak on it with on, him. You know? Yeah, well, not yeah, and that the fact that because they're just catching on. Mm -hmm. They thought they feel like a lot of people are feeling like they discovered him or something. Like it feels like no, to me yeah. because I see people like, uh, you know, oh, only come on, you know, the, just different yeah. things like, hey, I this guy Hazard and like, okay. Well, I mean that that does show like that's one of it that's is. That's like good a, though. A benefit of one of those tools though, like that, like because what he's doing that that's some legit shit. He, people are discovering that he can fucking rap. You know, it's like, but there's a lot of people that go on there like. There's nothing really particular they do. They just lip sync someone else's music, and it's like, I mean, that's cool, but you know, it's like, but he's actually showcasing what he actually can do, you know, and, and like, and it, it just introduced him to a whole new audience, which is which was dope. And all different genres of audience mm -hmm. too, and it and it's dope. And you know, again, not not can I'm just happy for the homie because yeah. um, he's been grinding, and it's cool um, again because to go back to our consistency here, it's not. This is not. Um, something that's just about us like we really care about uh broadcasting and putting on something and showcasing different talents and and talking about different things and um like wanting people to enjoy themselves and yeah everything. and and have fun while we're doing it hopefully you know it gets uh i mean there's been hectic times too doing all this stuff uh, the behind the scenes stuff is enough i'm telling you i, I think uh we talked about it before. I think Ma Manlo, you know, we we probably could make a documentary about the B side show, man. Yeah. <laughs> you know, anybody over ten years, man. I I think you know doing something consistent is. Talk about the origin of the name Luigi. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know, all we, of that stuff. We taking could up space. We could <laughs> talk about his skills of taking up space and jumping <laughs> off of mushrooms and stuff. Uh. <laughs> Not ki ki kidding, dog. <laughs> but but no again to to go back again consistency and and uh thank you to everybody that's been a part of it because again we're not done yet and i hope you guys continue to just check check out what we're doing and uh, uh speaking of that i got to and i'm saying it here again it's recording so uh damn i gotta get this merch up back up in the shop but we still got uh you know it's been a cool partnership with cuffum clothing the oh homegirl, yeah. the goalkeeper. Yeah, shout out Christine. The goalkeeper, man. If you've uh, been to any of the shows recently where when she's been on board and you've met her, you, you already know. She's, that's the homie. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Uh, she took over the, look at, and she took over the, you know, rest in peace to the shoe man, Tony the shoe man that yeah. used to be ne our neighbor at the business here. And uh, uh, he, he passed away and his cat, she she adopted the cat. and. Yes, we got Tony here. Yeah. <laughs> What you know, the watch cat of the shop. Yeah, sec mm. our our security cat, well, even yeah. though she's sleeping most of the time. <laughs> but, but yeah, it's it's cool, man. And then she comes out, and greets the guests, and all that. But uh, again, uh, uh, the B side shop. Make sure you guys come through, uh, support independent business, man. Um, there's a lot of gear in there, uh, for for you know sports fans, whatever. We got some B side show stuff. Like I said, I'm gonna get more, and then um. Uh, and uh, but stuff for the ladies too, which we were missing for a long time, right, Shay? Oh in yeah. The, in the front of the store, so yeah. It's been a it's been a cool partnership. Yeah, man. and it, in the the bathroom is actually like it's like you know a little bit more presentable <laughs> to. The, you know, uh, you know, all we needed was a hole TMI. in the floor, but right now it's like it's, it looks a lot more. Uh, I don't know. TMI it looks nice. Or the know. alley just going. It's got the the female touch to it, I guess. You know. Yeah, it's, it's a, yeah. The the restroom's a lot more presentable <laughs> for for our. Uh, for for our people that really appreciate using our restroom to come yeah. here all from wherever they come from just to mm -hmm. come here and take a <laughs> shit <laughs> even if they were right up the street from home like yeah i just live up the street but they can't hey that's it. a whole ep <laughs> that could be a whole episode <laughs> so right? say, coming soon the top five worst uh, yeah, bombs in the, the, the worst <laughs> visits 
uh, of ours in our restroom. <laughs> and we'll, we'll, start, you know, we'll, we'll have to apologize ahead of time to whoever it yeah, is. Yeah, to, to whom it may concern. <laughs> Next, uh, like everybody's gonna have to sign a disclaimer from now on when you when you come here. I get it. Sometimes it's an emergency and stuff, but sometimes it's like maybe you should have just dro <laughs> dropped that bomb before you left the crib. You could have just showered real fast. But uh, people love our, our restroom to for that reason. And yeah, through all these years, uh, Shay, I think it's that we got the top five. Uh, you know, worst bombs dropped in that <laughs> motherfucker, man. And it all some of the names might surprise you guys. You guys might know who they are. But <laughs> hey, lots of memories in the spot though too, man. We've had a lot of uh uh dope events here. Uh, a lot of people oh, performed man. at our spot. Um but yeah, again just a different aspect, cool conversation. We got our own um little side of the studio to to do this. Hey, coming soon. Hopefully, some we're gonna get, you know get some different couches too. But for now, oh, and then the stools too. The um, oh, that's for the B side show. The B side though. show stools. If you guys know that, like we actually had some recent guests that were a little nervous sitting in them. Yeah, too. The, it's like, I, whoa, are you sure this is gonna hold up? The, the big homies sometimes feel a little nervous about sitting in these uh, chairs, and it's like, <laughs> yeah, that would be all bad. One time it did happen though. I I, I meant to tell this story on Monday, but um one time but it, luckily it wasn't a guest it was somebody just chilling in, in like the st our little studio audience here when we were pr uh, uh filming the b-side show and i and we're interviewing somebody and all of a sudden i just hear a boop, <laughs> like like pla it was like pla that was the noise uh, supposedly of plastic snapping by the way yeah. that i just made but <laughs> that and then something hitting the floor really hard and it was one of the big homies uh, actually broke down one of them plastic uh, lawn chairs. Yeah, that, you know. the, 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 it actually the legs went in four di directions. <laughs> they went in a yeah. They went there. They went their separate ways. <laughs> the, the, the chair legs, dude. Hey, we've had we've had a lot of cool memories, a lot of cool guests on the B side show. And you know what? We'll we'll continue that um, as we go um, throughout the 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 rabbit season podcast. I literally had to look over. And at, the, at my <laughs> banner here, yeah. no, but, um, but we'll, we'll do memory. some more things um, as far as those guests. Some of the some of the uh, cool conversations that I've had, we'll probably you know bring them back right here on the show. And like I said, we'll we'll add a little couple more segments. We're gonna do some new promo stuff like that, man. And you gotta let it. People should you know let us know. You know probably hit you up too. Let us know. Um, I don't know, just suggestions, you know, if you think there's somebody that just would have a dope conversation that something needs to be talked about, if, you know, if something they want to, you know. But I will on. put out there right now, um, uh, I'm, I for one, and most of the time my brother agrees with me, I think, on most most topics, but I'm not really into the, uh, uh, I'm not really into all the uh, drama stuff and, you know, like, uh grown gangsters beefing with each other on people's podcasts nah, and the internet and any more useful content. yeah stuff like that and just stuff or, about or entertaining the, entertaining funny. uh stuff about artists and i know that gets all the the followers and stuff but there's other there's podcasts for that they they speak their mind enough i i just like to keep it a little more light um you know not so much in in everybody's business type of thing so much i know we have to if we have a guest we'd be doing a disservice if we didn't ask certain things uh but we're really not here for the drama it's just good hip-hop uh conversation without all the hibbity hoopla you know and yeah. all that stuff so i think we'll keep it like that and we try to you know even though it's like there's certain things that need to be said but i mean i personally i try to stay away from politics you know because it's like it's one of those things if, if you just see something how it is and, and you speak your what you actually see you know, you get a bunch of messages. Oh, don't believe everything you see on the on in the news. And but the thing is, I, I don't even watch the news, so it's like you know, I, I know what I know from like you know, there's there's other ways of knowing what's going on besides watching the mainstream news. You know, in case people and, didn't and know, on that you know. point, I do want to say, Shay, I'm glad you brought that up, and I won't get too deep into it either. But yeah, r religion and politics are two of those things, and some people, I, I've been to I've been to people's homes where they just straight out say you know what we coming in who don't talk religion or politics we're gonna have a good time you know what i mean mm -hmm. like but those are topics they get heavy sometimes but 
um, to each their own. And you know what? I, I see mm -hmm. I see things and interpret things and uh, do my own research the way I do it. And you guys do it the way you do yeah, it. But, or, but uh, sports, it comes to sports. If anybody wants to talk sports, I'll argue all day. I don't care about that. I'll argue, argue. Let's argue. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's uh, hey. Let's talk about sports. And on that note, man, go Lakers. Hey, they they. I know, what they got a lot, a, a lot, a lot of work ahead of them with you know the way their roster was constructed. But I feel like that's why I was. I was even saying that last year, not to say like I know all the answers or everything, but um, I felt like. I, uh, they went to veteran last year and they saw when they, the pickups they made throughout the season, yeah. you know, the uh, you know, uh, obviously Austin Reeves and Malik Monk was a bright spot to me of who they got. Well, yeah. And then and then also uh, when and Gabriel and uh, uh, Stanley, uh, 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 Stanley Johnson, Stanley Johnson, my bad. And uh, but those Aaron guys fix uh, the memory. As they got these younger guys, that you could see they started getting. They're I mean, the ones that stepped up, and then we already got the veterans. Yeah, yeah. I, f I feel like we the team needs to get younger, and obviously that'll translate to probably quicker defense and all that. So, and and shout out, okay, Raiders, man, shout out, they got. Oh uh, wow, it's gonna be a good season. Yeah, I feel like they got the right coach this time, man. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, it's good and it's positive. They made the playoffs and they improved the roster. They got a dope receiver, all that, but but then. Everybody in the Raiders division got better too, so it's gonna be a crazy. Well, season. and I, and I feel if they could, uh, you know, manage the the defense, um, they got one of the best, uh, obviously, offensive uh, sh play callers yeah. as a head coach now. So yeah. that should that should work well. And then, and then they re-signed Carr for a while. So yeah, which is a good thing. There's he's a lot in of the other plans. Raider fans that say he's not the answer, but hey, yeah, I mean, they're not watching the games then because the dude is good. If you've been watching. For the last two, three, four years before this, they couldn't stop people from scoring. Derek Carr doesn't play defense. Yeah. So just last figure time that part I out. checked. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, and and uh, on that note too, Shay, I want to start getting some. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll, I want to get on the podcast some more, maybe sports related. Yeah. Uh, we'll also get and and I have a few in mind already that um, and then uh, also like I said, just different topics. I want to bring Roman back. Talk about you know mental health uh, things and yeah, it's especially needed nowadays, man. Yeah, yeah. with all that's going on and and you know that that was another reason going back to what I said as part of the break. I I needed a mental break from uh, just overexerting myself for the you know first uh, whatever how many years of of B side show. We literally were going to almost all the shows. We went to you know everybody's performance we went you know we can't go as we have to pick and choose nowadays but there's so much going on so much responsibility obviously but at that time we we have been putting in the work we showed up at shows we've we've documented events we've uh you know helped host we we've helped book artists we we've we've done all that so uh point being is we ain't done yet i hope you guys keep moving with us any H anything else you want to talk about man we just we just wanted to let everybody know we're back and uh stay tuned we got a lot of stuff coming so um basically just like like i was saying earlier just like man just keep in touch and you know and, and you know just with what we're doing and, and if it's something that if you actually appreciate what we're doing even if you've been a guest on the show like we'd appreciate it you know like you know kind of like it's not that you need to like like um hit us up every day hey great job but like you know, a quick share on Twitter or whatever, or, or this, you know, sh just letting people know like what we're doing here, like that uh, people that you might think would like something like this, or or even, you know, like if you know anybody that, you know, would just, you know, wants a shot at getting an interview, like somebody that's doing some stuff, you know, they're actually putting out content, they're doing their, their videos, they're going and doing shows and all that, you know, let them know and, and, you know, tag us when you have pictures here, you know, we see a lot of pictures like taken in the spot, but you know, Ooh. just tag us, you know, it's like, speak let, on let, it. Let them know where, where, you know, you met this person. Shots whatever. fired <laughs> again. And I don't Shay's on a like rampage that, but, but today. It, it help out. You know, it just helps us, you know, like to kind of solid, like help us keep going is what it is. Shay, you, Shay, know? you know, Shay Whitey's one of the most laid back uh, cats ever, but um, he, he's right. And he spoke on a couple of things that I might have forgot. But yeah, man, we it's it's kind of crazy sometimes like. Maybe we see somebody, they met their favorite artist right here at our spot, and then they just don't even tag us, Doug. Like, and, and, and a lot of the cats, they come as a guest, like, from 
you know, a lot sometimes uninvited, which we've we've you know kind of toned that down a lot. But um, uh, you know, people just show up just for the opportunity to meet their favorite artists, and then don't even acknowledge the fact that they did that on here at our spot and our on our platform and. Um, that's kind of whack, dude. Ooh. I don't know what that's like. Uh, where where'd you forget to say that? You know, that's like if you go to someone's pad to eat, and then they invited you to eat, and you just say, "I had the best meal ever," and don't yeah. even say who made it or who invited you, like yeah. who who made it. Like just so you know, that would help us out a lot. Um, you know, kind of get our 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 numbers and our viewership in the right direction. Um, because again, we're not gonna do all that. Um, for the most part, you know, we're not going to do all that, um, just saying, uh, negative or controversial shit on the, on the internet or on our, on our, on our social media <coughs> just to get attention and the interaction and, and, and to gain followers. I, I'd rather just, I'll take the authentic way and shout out to all the followers that have followed the B side and supported and all that. Uh, we appreciate it. Yeah, for sure. Uh, keep continuing to follow, um, uh, mine's under rabbit season one um uh, now um shay yeah, i'm on shay, shay whitey pretty much every platform yeah uh, like was it just twitter and instagram basically you know what and i'm probably gonna re-add my i had twitter and facebook and all that but uh and i we definitely i gotta get on the twitch man i, I gotta do it because we got some stuff coming that i gotta do that so anybody have suggestions also hit us up yeah if, you, if there's anybody that's real you know that's on that you know just hey man come through you like Chop it up with us, you know. Well, come check out the spot. Oh, you know, help show us what, what's up. Cause, you know, we want to, we want to, you know, get the shit cracking. You know, just to keep it going. You know, because a lot of people, there is a lot of people that do appreciate it, and, and we appreciate them. And and on that note too, um, we w I got a. There's a couple things coming up. I'll be doing an interview. I'll post it um, probably by tomorrow. But we'll be doing a couple interviews on some other platforms also to promote what's coming and all this different stuff. So. We try to stay out there, stay, uh, you know, uh, chopping up with the people that, you know, uh, dig what we're doing. And we'll keep it like that, like I said. But uh, we need some some different people, uh, not just hip hop, uh, to also tune in because we got a lot of different stuff coming up on the platform. On the, on shout the out to podcast. Uh, <clears throat> a quick shout out to the, you know, all the platforms that have been supporting us, you know, and, and you know, like up throughout the whole time. Uh, People like um, Underground Hip Hop Blog, UNG Radio, The Platform Collection, uh, Out the House. There's a lot of people that, you know, yeah, the, Cypher the, effect, house, uh, Cypher effect, uh, the Cypher Effect, Cypher Effect, Thank OG you guys. Husky. Uh, they've uh, always blacklisted. There's a lot of people that, are, you know, that really support what, what we've been doing, you know. So thank you guys for that. Yeah, man. Let's keep it moving, man. We ain't done yet, like I said. And that's, what we're, that's the way we're going to uh, approach things coming up. Um, a lot of new stuff coming. Just stay tuned, people. And uh, thank you again, everybody that's uh, rocking with us. This is the Rabbit Season Podcast. And I don't even know what episode it is right now. We're back. We're coming